hey hello welcome so in this video i will show you how to write file over sftp server without even knowing the what is the file structure we have in previous video i have show you how you can write a file with the file structure right we provided the file structure as a csv and we write the file over sftp server but this time in this integration i will not provide the file structure then what we will do we will provide the file reference while writing the file over sftp server so let's move to the integration part so here in the previous video we have learned how to write file over sftp server with the structure so this is the integration we used so in this i will create a clone of this integration right so let me make a clone and provide the name as two and clone so i have created a copy of the previous integration and let me edit this integration so here if you will see in this integration the first endpoint read ftp is used to read the file from sftp server and while reading the file we provided the structure what kind of file structure we are going to read here you can see we have read the file and here you can see the file column header is c1 c2 c3 because we use this column header we use the column header also right so that's fine we are able to read the file from sftp server and now it's time to write the file on server without even passing the structure so once you will come to the schema here we provided csv so right now we will not provide the csv right so if we will not provide this structure what will happen if we will not provide the file structure it will ask the file reference in mapping you can see in the mapping it's you can see this is showing error because doesn't have that doesn't have this kind of element so how you will remove this error just right click here and delete the target node that's removed so here in mapping what they are asking it asking that you can see ics file inside the file it's asking file reference but we don't have file reference right now right we have the file data right? you can see that read file response whatever data we file we receive from the sftp we have the data we don't have the file reference so what we need to do is that first we need we need to convert this file data to the file reference then we will map this file reference here this is a simple way right or the same another way can be that we need to read the file from server as a file reference and provide the mapping so let me first change the process so here while reading the file we will not provide the file structure so it will read the data and generate a file sorry it will read the data and generate a file reference so here we will not provide the file structure now next done so here in the point we will read the data and it will return back the file reference and we will map this file reference to here in the second endpoint right so if in the mapping if you will go to the mapping here let me remove this again in the file ics file reference it's asking for reference right and once it will you check read file response in response you will get same ics file ics file inside the ics file you will get file reference so we will map this file reference here and if you will go to the properties we have option to give the file type directory name and all so here we will provide simply file name right file name now click on validate close and done we received the file from sftp server without even knowing the structure and same way whatever file structure we file we receive from server we are passing the same file to the another server directory and if you will go to the directory where we are going to write the file you can see we provided earlier right this thing where we want to save the file we want to save the file at sftp server the ap invoices reverse file and this is the our sftp server this is our sftp server let me remove this file earlier which we created from the previous integration so here if you will press we don't have file right so now next done okay so this integration is completed let's let me run the integration right so first save close and here if you will see activate right so our integration is activated now we need to run the integration so submit and submit now so we submitted a 007 so here we will use track 007 it's in queue status right so it will take time to run once this will be completed it will show the status as success or error right so let's wait for the 
completion of this integration only so here our integration is completed successfully once you will check the sftp server you will get the file here you can see this is the file api and v reverse 4 and if you will see the content of the file the content of this file will be same as this file right there will be no any changes so here if you will see this is the file right this is the reverse feed file whatever file we write with the name of this one and this is the data file here you can see both are same right both are same but we don't have here if you will see in previous video we added two extra column here but right now we don't have the two extra column because of that we are not added the two extra column we are just receiving the file we are just reading the file from this directory and we get the re reference and same with the help of reference we are writing the file here so if you we want to modify the file then we need to read the file in the readable format while providing the mapping right so so i think it's clear right how we will write the file over sftp server so if you have any other queries you can comment and you can ask we'll create separate videos for various operations right so thank you so much for watching